back new at 10 for you. We used to only see them on golf courses, right? But now they're cruising into North Texas neighborhoods. For many families, they're now an essential everyday vehicle. Our JD Miles is tracking their popularity and the confusion over whether they're street legal. Here we go. His neighbors call it a party on wheels. With seating for six, a picnic table, a rear camera, and a top speed of 25 miles an hour, the Saunders family is the envy of other golf cart owners in their prosper neighborhood. So it's like a, like a floating, you know, pontoon, I guess. Noel Saunders recently upgraded from a smaller, slower cart to one that will soon have a license plate that allows his family to drive on roads with speed limits of 35 miles per hour or less. We tested it out for a weekend and the kids just fell in love with it, really. Families all over North Texas are turning to golf carts as a convenient way to get around for short distances, sometimes even on roads they aren't built for, as we found while driving around today in McKinney. It's led to public awareness messages this week from police departments in both McKinney and Frisco, warning owners that the smaller carts, called personal transportation vehicles, or PTVs, that top out at only 14 miles per hour, don't belong outside neighborhood streets. More manufacturers are producing bigger and faster high-end golf carts like this one to meet the growing demand. But retailers and police are urging owners to resist the temptation to take them onto bigger and faster roads. So this is one of our really cool, fun cars. Here at Golf Carts of Dallas, 70% of the sales are now for family cruisers. Custom designs, features, and lifts can price them at up to $40,000. But the dealership says safety is as important as sales. Street legal is a common term that people come in here asking for a street legal vehicle. And that's where we have to be very careful because most of these cars are not street legal. Jamie Spence says carts with lights, signals, and other safety features called LSVs or low speed vehicles are allowed on many city streets but have to be registered. Frisco police tell us they've responded to two crashes this year involving golf carts, but no injuries, and sometimes find children under the legal driving age behind the wheel. Upgrading to this obviously brings a lot more safety features. The Saunders family has an LSV, which can go outside the neighborhood, but they say it's mostly used just for fun. It's all about bringing the family together, and so I think this cart really has done a, done a good job doing so. In Prosper, J.D. Miles, CBS News, Texas.